and welcome back to my channel KCTV thank you for tuning in once again so today I will be doing a highly requested video I have been getting a lot of emails comments DMs all about my move to San Antonio so since I've officially been here for a year I'm pretty acquainted with the area enough for me to be able to do this video so if you have not already seen my moving to San Antonio vlog that I recorded last year when I moved um, I moved here July 3rd so if you haven't seen that go check out that video and then come back here for the update I'm gonna tell y'all the real from my perspective completely 100% my opinion San Antonio was actually really nice. I really thought that I was gonna move to the desert, but that is very, very, very far from the truth. Actually, San Antonio is like mostly green, like there's trees everywhere. The nature, beautiful. The environment out here is much slower than Chicago. It's not as slow as Omaha, but it's not as fast as Chicago. It's like one big ass suburb, basically. There is obviously stuff to do everywhere, but everything just be chill. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just real chill. The weather is hot as hell. Okay, it be hot as hell every day. It's hot as fuck. It's hot. It's really because it's so humid out here. The cold down here is like 40 degrees. 40 degrees for the people that live here is like cold as hell. But 40 degrees for somebody that come from up north, that lived in Chicago, that lived in Nebraska, oh baby. 40 this still t-shirt weather what you mean okay not t-shirt weather but light jacket windbreaker weather for sure another thing is nothing is really like crazy far here because i stayed really far north everything that i wanted to do or places that i needed to go with the exception of maybe a couple all are within 30 minutes i'm far from like the parties and like the people my age they all or the people that look like me you feel me? They stay on like the south side, east side. But when it comes to like the essentials, like food and grocery stores and stuff, all of that is within like 10 minutes from me. San Antonio is only an hour away from Austin. Houston is two and a half hours away, which is also not too bad. And then Dallas is four hours away. San Antonio is 65% Hispanic. So the black people be scarce, okay? Like when we see each other, it's like, you. What's it? What's up? Obviously, there's going to be some scattered everywhere, but majority of the black people stay on the east side and like mixed in on the south side. I stay on the north side with like all the white people and then like, I stay, I mean, it be Mexicans too, but this neighborhood I think is like majority white probably. Now, just speaking on the people in general, once again, this is completely from my perspective. Everybody that I've ran into here has been extremely friendly. They speak when, you know, you walking by, they gonna speak first. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? You fine? Now, everybody know, like, when you from up north, when you from Chicago, ain't none of that walking down the street speaking, hey, how you doing? You just keep on walking. So if you black and you watching this video and you are moving to San Antonio or you're in San Antonio and you ain't got no friends, you should join San Antonio Black. These is Facebook groups, by the way. You should join San Antonio Black, San Antonio Black Queens, Black Girl Magic of San Antonio. There's like somebody for everything in that group. You type in there, hey, I need a realtor. I need pest control. I need an accountant. Whatever it is that you asking for, somebody gonna be in the group that has the exact qualifications that you need. If you are a black woman in San Antonio, I do highly recommend joining the San Antonio Hair Weave and Braid because in that group, that's where um, everybody posts their work or you can just post in there like, hey, I need this style on this date. Who can do it? And you gonna get 50, 60 comments of people that are available and that can do that style. Now, when I first moved here, obviously I didn't know anybody, so I was going out by myself. Um, they have a lot of bars. You can find a bar here like you could find a McDonald's. Like there is a bar on every single corner. Like I said, most of the black people be on the east side and the south side. And that's also where most of the activities go, like all of the popping clubs and bars and shit like that. The ones that's gonna have like more people in the early 20s age is going to be Burn House and Lush. They're in the same plaza. Burn House on Thursdays, that's like college night, but 
really it's like black people night to be honest because thursdays is when like all the black people come and then on saturdays at lush is when all the black people come there they have different different things for everything and then sundays the well that's a great place to go and that's when the black people be out you know you gotta you gotta figure out where your people at go to saint mary's strip now saint mary's strip that's that's busting i ain't gonna lie to you saint mary's strip is downtown and it's really just literally a whole street of bars and clubs like that's it you just bar hop club hop and that's all demographics all age groups it's a really really good time let's just be frank like i like to be around black people i like to listen to hip-hop music and it just ain't enough of that out here they have a lot of hookah lounges i'm a hookah lounge type person so if you are into hookah lounges there's one called cloud nine oh that that's my spot i go there a lot well when outside was open look like the days will never be the same like i just miss the days where i could just get up and just be like i'm gonna go to the hookah lounge and i can't even do that they have a lot of really good like lakes out here they got a lot of rivers for you to do tubing you have to go to canyon overlook park let me say that again canyon overlook park girl god that shit is the most beautiful view i've ever seen today in my life like scenic view i've also went to a cave tavern out here i did axe throwing here i went to the shooting range that's pretty big out here too now the last thing i'll speak on is dating or lack thereof because ain't no fine men out here now mind you this is 100 percent my opinion this is completely subjective but ain't no fine in this bitch. if i do see somebody and i'm like oh kind of cute he got a damn girlfriend or if he ain't got a girlfriend he don't like black girls what the fuck like i have searched far and i have searched wide and i have come up empty-handed every time i've met some very cool individuals but i ain't seen not one just fine chocolate man tall six foot and everybody be little too i ain't got nothing now mind y'all once again completely subjective my opinion my perspective i don't want to scan the room and look at everybody in that goddamn eye i want to have to scan the room and look up i'm trying hello fine chocolate thing hello but when i be in houston though bitch it's some options i can't really speak on the pool of men in dallas because i never i haven't went out when i went there what i will say is is i most definitely ain't the only person that feel that way about the pool of men here in san antonio because in one of my facebook groups somebody posted and was like um i'm moving to san antonio soon what's the dating life like out there it was over a hundred comments and every single person said the dating life was trash non-existent i am very picky though so you might come out here and find your soulmate most people out here are in relationships or they're married okay so you know if you do find somebody and they be saying that they're single but you know just maybe do your research because majority of people out here have families but that concludes this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to comment below any other questions that you have that we're not answering in this video or anything you just want me to go more in detail about thank you all for tuning in again to kctv and i will see y'all next time get down little mom 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 get down little mom